hard riffs. Well, hi there guys, welcome to Rock Hard Riffs. This is the rock and roll guitar channel for the self-taught. Today's video, guys, we're taking a little bit of a departure. We're talking about playing with injuries again. We've talked about this once or twice before. I'm going to mention it again, playing with injuries, like uh, nerve pain, things like that, like I have. I have sub quite a number, it's like 14 or 15 pinched nerves in my back. Half of them are in my neck, half of them that are at the very base of my spine. I also have bolting discs and all kinds of fun going on in the middle of my back. So you could say it's just a real joy. Some of the things I have used to try to help alleviate some of the pain and etc. Of course, I take painkillers. I take them right before I sit down to make these videos because I have to. I have no choice, otherwise I couldn't sit here. So let's get on to a couple quick things. One thing, guys, what I'm sitting on, ugh, that's one of those egg sitter things. Uh, you know, it's like a blue gel type of seat. Boy, does that help. And I take that thing everywhere I go. In fact, we even have a couple more here. So you can see, you know, I have these in different places around the house. And man, it does make a big difference. I take them to like if I'm going to a doctor's office or a restaurant when I'm able. That isn't very often because I can't sit or stand very long. So uh, I'll take one of these to like a restaurant and I'll get up and I'll sit down and get up and sit down. It's, that's just how it is. <laughs> While there, I felt really alone. Until uh, my wife and I were at a restaurant this one time and I was talking to the waitress, I apologized to her because she kept seeing me stand up and then sit down and stand up. She thought maybe I wanted her or something like that. I told her, no, I just can't sit there too long. And I told her what the issue was, I had a real bad back, and she said, oh, my husband has some of the same issues. And to me, it was like one of those things for a split second, it's like, wow, I'm not alone. Because, boy, when you're in pain, you feel this kind of pain. I mean, this is serious pain. Imagine you have 14 root canals going on in your mouth, in your back. Not fun. Not fun at all. And especially that nerve pain, boy, it just gets you. It creeps up on you, and you just don't realize it. It's, it's not fun. Another thing I use, guys, is this thing. What the heck is this thing? It's a guitar harness. It's a guitar harness. And it just straps around your midsection. And it has, it has these arms that go over your shoulders. These are actually aluminum uh, plates, kind of like. And you bend them and they stay that shape over your shoulder. And then this little hook, let me show it to you real quick. This hooks into a little eyelet that's on the strap that is on the back of the guitar. And I'll show you that too. Now also, this is adjustable. So this is just like a, it's like a backpack kind of thing. Uh, you pull this and it gets tighter, or you you can pull up on the lever and let more of the uh, strap go through. So it's very ingenious, and I'll include some information in the description of this for you. Now, at the back of the guitar, we have the strap here that's attached with Velcro, and it goes right there onto your strap buttons. Let me show you that. The hook that I was showing you earlier goes through this. So this is strapped, you can imagine, on the back of the guitar. This is towards the neck. This is towards the base of the guitar. This is where the strap goes through, and you can move this. It's adjustable. Okay, so that's very cool. There's only one drawback, and that is this does not work on my SG or my Flying V. The distance on the SG and the Flying V between the uh, strap buttons is too close and this thing can't get quite that small. But it does great on all the other guitars. And there it is, and just the hook hooks into that. Now what this does is it takes all of the weight of the guitar off of one shoulder. And this is a problem shoulder I've had for a long time. And now you're carrying the weight on both of your shoulders. Right? Which has been a huge help for me because my left shoulder is really screwed up too. So there I just hook the guitar, the hook into that little eyelet, and away you go. And there it is. Good to go. Now we're back in action. 
So that's it guys. Again, I'll leave some information about this in the description. This has been a really big help for me and maybe it will be for you too. So let us know guys uh, if this has been a help to you or not. We'd really appreciate that. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next video.